Hello and welcome back to Crazy Love Studio. In today's video, we will talk about a very fundamental concept in Networker, which is parallelism. <laughs> Most basic configuration to tweak for fine tuning in Networker Server is to adjust the parallelism and multiplexing parameters in Networker. I have recently made a video on multiplexing, which is related to session configuration on the devices. Today we'll understand a little bit more about parallelism. Parallelism in backups, in simple terms, is the ability to process more than one stream of data at a time. The data stream can include backup data streams, CFS processes, probe jobs, and recovery streams, which are the most common. In Networker, we have parallelism set at three different levels. The first is at the client, which is the client parallelism. So client parallelism is the configuration that is available on the client properties. The client parallelism defines the number of data streams that a client can process simultaneously during a backup and restore. The default value is 4. So this is set to 12 because this is the networker server and the default parallelism for the networker server is 12. So this value can be anywhere from 1 to 1024. So if we try to make it for example 0, it will show you that your parallelism is out of range and basically you have to set the parallelism at this particular level. The next level of parallelism that we have is at the action level. So the action parallelism defines the maximum number of simultaneous data streams that can occur on all the clients in a group that is associated with the workflow that contains this action. So the default value for this is 100 and this is available in the specify advanced options so I've set it to 6 here just for our demo but the default value is 100 and you can set it to 0 when you set it to 0 it essentially means that the parallelism is not enforced on this particular level so uh, uh, as you already saw we have the client parallelism we have the action parallelism we also have a few other parallelisms that we will look at um, as we progress in this video. So here this particular parallelism will control as to how many save streams this action can generate. So here we have 6 by default it is 100 or you can also set it to 0 to basically disable this. The next level of parallelism is the server parallelism. So you can go into the server properties and you will see that the parallelism set for the networker server. So the server parallelism defines the number of simultaneous data streams that the networker server can allow. Now, if you remember from the definition um, that I mentioned for parallelism, the data streams can be backup streams, save FS processes, probe jobs, recover streams, and so on. Now, like the client parallelism, the server parallelism can vary from 1 to 1024 only. So it cannot be 0 because this parallelism is the highest level of restriction and applies throughout on all the data streams that are generated in this particular networker server. This number is also restricted or controlled um, by the licenses that you are using, mainly in the traditional licensing where you had uh, these different levels or tiers of licenses that were available but I think with the capacity license you are free to use any number of uh, parallel save streams that you need. Alright the next parallelism that we can take a look at is the poor parallelism but this is a little different from how the rest of the parallelisms work. So basically in pool parallelism what happens is that you can determine the maximum, uh, the maximum simultaneous save streams for a device in the respective pool. Now, you might mention, you might uh, have a question as to this can be controlled using the target and the max sessions as well, correct? But the only difference here is that the pool parallelism defines the maximum parallelism per device 
that can be said. Now, why this is important is that uh, specifically in the use case where in your environment has a lot of restore requests and you need a few sessions, you know, a free on your device for the restore purposes, you can set up the parallelism to be uh, less than the target parallelism on the respective device or the max parallelism on the respective device, allowing you to have a buffer for any restore requests that come into the uh, that come your way so this particular configuration can be done at the pool and this is our pool and it's under configuration and here you will see the max parallelism is currently set to zero uh, you can change this to any value that you need so zero again means that it is disabled which means that there is no parallelism that is applied at this particular level so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this in action so let's first quickly look at the parallelisms that have been set so i have these two uh, clients that i will be taking the backup for so here the parallelism set on this is four, which means that when I trigger the backup, only four parallel streams should be triggered and uh, should be um, able to generate the backup. This is set to eight. So let's change it to four as well, which means that when, since the both of the uh, clients here belong to the same group, the next governing factor or the next parallelism uh, factor that would come into the picture is at the action level and at the action level uh, which is the backup action we have set the parallelism to six which means that even though there are eight sessions that are generated because what that is the sessions that each uh, client allows which is four on each client which is a total of eight since we have two clients in that group we have eight sessions that are actually allowed but the restriction on the action will uh, allow only six streams to be um, to reach the respective uh, devices or the target device the next set was at the server level so at the server level i have set it up to 12 which is greater than six which is at the target or maybe we can make it as uh, maybe 10 mm, yeah let's keep it to 10 so let's keep it that way and let's go ahead and start this particular backup so remember here the parallelism is six on the clan the parallelism is four and let's take a look at uh, okay the backups four sessions what's happening with the windows the windows is waiting to run and if you see here you have only two sessions for the windows that have been initiated so this is mainly because the even though we have four sessions here there is a restriction on the uh, sessions that are available on the action so let's go ahead and let me increase the action parallelism to say uh, 24 that's actually more than the so uh, parallelism that we have set on the server uh, we might have to restart the backup for uh, that particular setting to take effect so let's go ahead and stop this backup now and then restart it all right, let's go ahead and start the backup again with the new parallelism set on the action. Save if this is running on the windows. 
and now you should see at least eight sessions running in parallel four from Windows and four from uh, Linux so here you already see that we have four sessions from Linux the Windows is coming up as well and now you have four sessions from Windows as well so you will see it in a few minutes there you go now let's play with this a little more we'll go ahead and change the parallelism on this to 6 which means that now we have a total of or, or let's make it 8 so that the client should be pushing 8 sessions each which is a total of 16 the action allows more than that so it should allow all the 16 but if you remember the restriction on the server itself is 12 so only a total of 12 save streams should be seen here so I'm not sure I think usually it does take the client uh, change in the client parallelism dynamically but just give it a few minutes if not we'll have to restart the backups okay now you see that the save streams on the Linux system have increased from 4 to 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 all right, I had to abort that backup because it was taking the um, parallel uh, parallelism, the clan parallelism changed dynamically, but it was a little slow picking it up. So I had to abort it so that we saved us some time on uh, demonstrating how this works. So I'm going to start the backup again for the respective system, and then you will see. that the backups for oh I think we have a restriction on the target sessions which is which will restrict it to six each so let's quickly jump on the devices and change yeah there you have it the targets let's make it like 12 all right so the change in par the clan parallelism was dynamically being picked up but it was a little slow so I had to abort it and uh, just try to restart it again so that uh, we see the difference so the clan parallelism is set at 8 so it has to now generate 8 sessions each the action parallelism parallelism is more than 8 and uh, more than 16 which is basically the two uh, clients that we have which is um, around 24 if I remember right and but the restriction here now will be applied by the networker server because in the networker server we have a parallelism of only 12 so that's going to come into the picture and this will be restricted only to 12 save streams so if you see here now we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 from Linux and 2 from Windows which is a total of 10 well, let's quickly check the okay so we have the uh, parallelism set to 10 which is basically what we are seeing right now so even though the client is allowed to send eight streams each which is a total of 16 and the client uh, and the action is also allowing uh, more than uh, 16 to be uh, sent across the server is restricting this at the highest level now let's just go ahead and increase this let's say to 24 so that's it is more than 16 and like the change in uh, the clan parallelism this will also be picked up dynamically but it is going to be a little slow as um, the uh, you know the client polls and gets this new information and then uh, tries to send, send in more data so the best way for us to quickly check this is to stop the backup and start it again so let me just go ahead and do that and get back to you once the backup is aborted 
all right now the backup uh, is aborted and now we can go ahead and test the changes that we have done to the server parallelism so uh, the initial configuration was 10 now it is more than um, 60 i think it is set to 24 right now and in addition to this i have also made changes to the pool wherein the pool configuration max parallelism is set to 10 which means that it should be sending only 10 streams to every device and if i can show you the configuration on the device itself the target session is 12 which means that each device can take in 12 sessions altogether and only when it reaches 12 it is it will go to the next device but let's see how this behaves because now it should take only 10 uh, streams per device and then access uh, whatever it uh, finds it has to push it to the next available device so let's go ahead and start the backup so now all the 16 streams should trigger because the client parallelism allows it the action parallelism allows it and the server parallelism allows it so the uh, Linux is already in queue and it has already started sending the backup. So you'll see that all the 18, 8 streams for uh, the client have been initiated. So you see the 8 streams here. And as the Windows backups start, you should be able to see two streams going to the first device and the rest of the streams yeah, going to the next device. This is mainly because we have set the pool parallelism. The target session is still free to take two more sessions which it has reserved for any um, you know other uh, other operations like uh, recovery so this is how you can control the number of backup streams that are uh, generated and sent to the respective um, target devices and uh, use this to fine-tune your network servers uh, capacity Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.